and they're off. Patsy's Holiday was quick into stride down toward the inside. Ubiquitous Mantle is away in good order up toward the outside. Analog Girl from between those two now to take the lead. Two to Tango moves up and forth. And then further back, Industrial Policy just outside of Annulment, who's last as the six head for the first turn. Analog Girl with Paco Lopez, the jockey, in front by a length and a half. Ubiquitous Mantle goes second up on the outside. Two to Tango stays to the extreme outside in third into the first turn. Patsy's Holiday right against the rail in the fourth position for a ground saving trip flanked by industrial policy with annulment just behind that pair trailing through an opening quarter in 23 and one fifth seconds ubiquitous mantle outward from the rail has the lead ahead analog girl is there toward her inside these two continue to battle for the lead two to tango is backed away into third position now and is three lengths off the leader another length and a half patsy's holiday fourth ahead and she has industrial policy right alongside of her gap of two more back to annulment who is content for now to trail through an opening half mile in 47 seconds at the entry to the far turn, ubiquitous mantle from the outside, analog girl toward the inside, separated by just a head for the lead. Now, two to tango starts to close in from third to the outside. Industrial policy is behind her toward the outside, but in fourth position, three lengths from the front. Patsy's Holiday looks toward the inside for more running room, and then annulment, and annulment is still last, has to go to the center of the course, five lengths off the lead, two to tango, and ubiquitous mantle, industrial policy, annulment far outside, Patsy's Holiday looking for running room. Here's annulment with clear running down the center of the course to challenge two to tango for the lead. Industrial policy third, Patsy's holiday fourth, annulment the leader with a 16th of a mile to go, then two to tango and industrial policy. It is annulment Robbie Alvarado aboard, annulment to win it, industrial policy up for second, two to tango third, photo for fourth. In the winner's circle for Keeneland's featured seventh race, the Magdalena. One, annulment, owned by G. Watts Humphrey Jr., trained by Victoria Oliver. Robbie Alvarado is the jockey. Annulment, a four-year-old broken vowel fillet from Afterthought by Fusaichi Pegasus, bred in Kentucky by G. Watts Humphrey Jr., Susie Keller, Vicki Oliver, and G. Watts Humphrey III. One minute, 50 and two-fifth seconds for the nine furlongs over the Keeneland course, and the second winner today sired by Broken Vowel.